Medical terminology, lesson 11. Vocabulary, adipose tissue, group of fat cells. Cartilage, flexible connective tissue attached to bones at joints. Examples of areas that are formed by cartilage are the external ear and nose. Epithelial cells, skin cells that cover the outside of the body. They also line the internal surfaces of bodily organs. Histologist, a specialist that studies tissues. Larynx, also called the voice box. It is located at the upper part of the trachea. Pharynx, also known as the throat. The pharynx is a common passageway for both eating and breathing. Pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is an endocrine gland located at the base of the brain. Thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is another endocrine gland. It surrounds the trachea, which is located in the neck. Trachea, also known as the windpipe. The trachea is a tube that leads from the throat to the bronchial tubes. Ureters. The ureter is a tube that leads from the kidney to the urinary bladder. Each kidney has its own ureter, so there are two ureters in the body as there are two kidneys. Urethra. The urethra is a tube that leads from the urinary bladder to the outside of the body. Uterus. The uterus is commonly known as the womb. It is an organ that houses the embryo fetus as it develops. Viscera. Medical term for internal organs. To refer to one organ, you say viscous. Body cavity. A body cavity refers to a space that holds the internal organs. There are five body cavities in the human body, cranial, thoracic, abdominal, pelvic, and spinal. Ventral cavities are also called the anterior cavities. These are the body cavities that are in the front of the body. Ventral cavities include the thoracic, abdominal, and pelvic cavities. Dorsal cavities. The dorsal cavities are also known as the posterior cavities. These cavities are located in the back of the human body and include the cranial and spinal cavities. Cranial cavity. The cranial cavity is part of the dorsal cavities. Important organs found in the cranial cavity include the brain and pituitary gland. Thoracic cavity. The thoracic cavity is one of the ventral cavities. It contains the lungs, esophagus, trachea, bronchial tubes, thymus gland, and aorta. The thoracic cavity is further divided into two parts, the pleural cavity and the mediastinum. Aorta, the large artery. Pleural cavity. The pleural cavity is one of the two smaller divisions of the thoracic cavity. It is the space between the pleural sacs that surround each lung. Pleura. The pleura is a membrane that is double folded. It surrounds the lungs and helps protect them. When a person has pleuritis, also called pleurisy, the pleura become inflamed and fluid may fill the pleural cavity. Mediastinum. The mediastinum is a cavity in the center located outside of and between the lungs. The mediastinum contains the heart, aorta, trachea, esophagus, thymus gland, bronchial tubes, and many lymph nodes. Abdominal cavity. The abdominal cavity is surrounded by a double-folded membrane called the peritoneum. 
The abdominal cavity contains the stomach, small intestines, large intestines, spleen, pancreas, liver, and gallbladder. The kidneys are behind the abdominal cavity and found on each side of the backbone. This is called the retroperitoneal area. Diaphragm. The diaphragm is, muscul is a muscular wall that divides the thoracic and abdominal cavities. Pelvic cavity. In both genders, the pelvic cavity contains portions of the small and large intestines, which also share space in the abdominal cavity, rectum, urinary bladder, and ureters. In females, the, ca the pelvic cavity also contains the uterus and vagina. Spinal cavity. The nerves of the spinal cord are found in the spinal cavity. Though the thoracic and abdominal cavities are separated by the diaphragm, they are not considered truly separate, and therefore they are often referred to as the abdominal pelvic cavity.